hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a Razer Pro R. I know absolutely nothing about razors, so Dex is gonna give us the information on the razor. We're gonna drive it here in the Utah desert, and well, basically, we're gonna see if this will convert me over to razors being a Raptor owner. And so, with that being said, let's just get into it. Hey oh, there! Hey! Razor expert Dex here. <laughs> Uh, mediocre. Mediocre. So he's going to tell us all about the uh, Razor. Sorry if you guys ha can't hear my voice very well. It's windy and the microphone's face towards Dex because he's the important one. So anyways, just tell us about like what this thing is. It's that all I know is the Pro R and we took it from yeah. a rip and it's scary to me. But <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is the Pro R model. Uh, a lot of you are very familiar with like uh, normal Razors, your Turbo S's and all that fun stuff. Specifically the Pro R, you get upgraded live valve suspension, these massive control arms with 29 inches of travel, and these live valve shocks, you can take it through just pretty much any whoop, just any jump, throw it around, they do not care. They just don't care, you'll see on the video later today. But what the Pro R comes with is stock Maxxis 32 inch tires. Uh, you get ride command in this specific model, which is pretty much a satellite system that you can connect with other razors uh, you can leave behind breadcrumb trails you know not get lost you can ping other razors do all that fun stuff um, and the pro r model we get 225 horsepower out of a naturally aspirated four cylinder two liter motor which it screams it is a high revving motor sometimes it gets a little higher in the rpms and it sounds like it's a little questionable but that's just because it's a screamy four cylinder you get that usually but uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and take it for a rip. Also, CVT. You, you, we gotta it's talk a about CVT. The CVT. That, that's just a, that's most side by sides. There's that not many cool. without a side by side. Okay, so like I've never, like I don't know anything about side by sides. I've never seen anything with them. And when you told me CVT, I'm like, so it's basically a Prius. That's a, <laughs> that was my reaction. Right, we'll, we'll just, uh, we can show them the belt right here. Yeah, this is funny. Always carry a spare belt. Yeah. We haven't seen a Pro R blow a belt yet, but it's it's a side by side. You're, you might go through a belt. Yeah, exactly. But I'll just give you guys kind of a little 360. We've been like off-roading all day today and it's crazy like they've been able to keep up with us in this Razor at like a pace that's just mind-boggling because I never thought these things were super fast and frankly they're probably bored at some points because they were able to go a lot faster than they were. But yeah, this whole setup here, but I guess we're gonna drive it. Hopefully I survive. So I apologize in advance for the uh, audio also. That's a cool little, like, it is a cool graphic when we started it up. Um, but yeah, so I'm wearing a helmet because I'm gonna get like my face blasted with sand. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. And if this video is garbage, it's garbage, but it was a fun experience. So that's all that matters. So I guess it, sun visor. Actually, I'll keep the sun visor up for now. I have glasses, so I should be fine. But yeah, let's set off. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs>
these things are so crazy. So he's basically gonna come through and come off this uh, jump and stuff. He's gonna go full send. Okay, just to give you guys an idea, the new Raptor has like, depending on the tires you get, has like 13, 14 inches of travel. And it would, like, if you took your Raptor over those whoops like that, I mean, you're not gonna break anything, but like, that you don't feel, and the Raptor you would. So the next thing he's doing is going over these like whoops here that are really close together, which they're not huge, but. So I guess the best way to sum up things with today's video reviewing that Razor is to actually talk about the Raptor because this is like the craziest production truck when it comes to, you know, high speed Baja stuff and it just doesn't even compare to that Razor because again, this has like, I mean, from a pickup truck, like five valve shocks, which you guys, actually you guys probably can't see my shocks right now on that side because of the sunlight, but then also because they're covered in mud. Let's try this again. We got live valve. Fox shocks, there you go. Now it's popping up a little bit. And um, yeah, the, I mean, like I said, this this has the 37 performance package. So it has 13 inches of travel in the front and then 14 in the rear, but almost 30 inches of travel. It's it's just like, it's a completely different world. Um, the best way for me to describe it is like stuff that is going to completely max out this truck. That that Razor is basically just getting started. Like it, it, doesn't, it doesn't even like push it whatsoever. Um, the only downside I can see with the uh, Razors versus something like this in off-road circumstances is over long distances. This is gonna be way more comfortable because like the long wheelbase and the fact that you have like air conditioned seats, heated seats, you have climate controls, like a really comfortable interior. And like, again, the longer wheelbase gives you uh, smoother ride quality. But like, if you're just going on like a weekend adventure, I, I kind of now understand why everyone gets the uh, Razors because like, you can just access so much, like from an, you know, off-road perspective so fast, so easily. And like, yeah, I know that things break on those, but like, it seems like because of how like insanely like overbuilt that thing is, I think that you struggle to break something on it unless you're doing something really, really stupid. So yeah, that was exciting. That was, again, my first experience in a Razor. And I guess if you guys want to see more Razor content, like I said, this video is probably horrible. The audio is probably horrible, but like I could figure out like a review method. Let me know if you guys want me to actually review these and I could probably figure something out with, I'm sure there's a dealership here in Utah that sells them. So I, I could figure out something, but thanks to Dex for uh, helping me out with that and letting me experience that. And I'll see you.